Hello everybody, in this video we are going to understand how to send data okay, from a sensor to the cloud and check the data uh, at the cloud dashboard okay that is web dashboard or mobile dashboard right so what I've done is over here is that I have taken DST11 sensor which is basically called as temperature and humidity sensor that I have taken and the supporting development board which I've taken is node MCU or uh, it is known as ESP8266 board okay for that I have included the library over here you can see first three lines I will include the library and then I have taken DST11 uh, library and I have defined as per my requirement uh, my record in the sense that uh, I can uh, define DST type as DST11 and DST pin is 13 and here I have taken DST pin DST type okay so in your case if you want you can directly write the uh, DST11 over here and uh, DST pin over here okay in my case I have taken pin number 13 you can take any pin of your choice right and I want to send the data from my sensor to the cloud every one second. That's why I need timer for that one. So I have taken simple timer. Okay. And uh, thereafter you can see I have taken uh, authorization token of Blink because I'm using Blink Cloud over here. And uh, how to use Blink Cloud, how to take the authorization token. Okay. All those things are given in my previous videos. You can have a look into that one. So I have taken the token over here and then uh, I have to take an SSID and password of uh, any Wi-Fi because of the Wi-Fi I am going to link to the cloud okay and node MC works on the Wi-Fi you know by this time right so this process process particularly this process and all this slides were set up method you can find out in my earlier videos okay coming to the timer part as I have told you I have taken simple timer so timer set interval 1000 means every one second I am pushing the data to the cloud okay send sensor I have taken that one okay now what is send sensor you can see word send sensor uh, I have written over here, so let's move down and I will show you what is exactly I have written over there. Okay, so one setup method is there, then extra one is void send sensor, then void loop is there. Okay, so let me go into the send sensor part. So here I have defined float. Okay, S stands for humidity, T stands for temperature. So DST dot read humidity, just like read and log. Okay, so statements are there. So just like that, I have, I have taken this uh, two statement uh, to command you can say to transfer the data it into this H and temperature into this T. Then simply I am printing it out. So this statement you know very well. Uh, star C means just to show the centigrade part. I have given notification star C so it will, it will be good to see. Okay, just like centigrade. And then with the uh, virtual right V2, V2 I have taken the virtual pin from my Blink uh, software that I will show you as now. And uh, V1 I have taken for humidity. Okay, then I'm right, uh, running the blink dot run and timer dot run. Okay, this is the code. But one thing you remember before you run the code, you should include the libraries. To, to include the libraries, what you want to do is that by this time you know how to uh, uh, link the library of Node MCU. I hope hope that you might have done all these things earlier. But coming to uh, DST library and blink library, what you have to do is that you have to go to tools over here, click it. Then you see manage libraries click it over here okay once the manage library will open in that you have to type uh, dst11 and blink separately and then you have to uh, install the libraries you can see uh, this library manager is open now and you can see it over here blue bar okay downloading libraries so let it be complete and once it's complete you can click it over here and type the name okay just uh, give a second uh, it's taking time to update the other libraries which is been installed over here yes it's done now you can see the cursor over here simply I will type blink B -L -Y -N -K. and it will take some time I mean to say probably 5 to 10 seconds okay and the blink uh, library is available over here you can see this coming so what I will do is that simply this is the blink I will just click the actual version over here okay the highest version I will install it so already for me 1.2.0 is installed so I'm not going to install it but you have to install if it is not installed in your system okay thereafter what sensor I have used DHT so let's type DHT okay just to give you a minute yeah I've typed it now you can see uh, DHT I typed so it is taking time to read it so yeah let's read it now you will find number of DHT libraries over here but specifically you have to go for DST sensor library you can see over here sensor library so for me I have already installed 1.4.4 so for you if it is not there you have to install it okay 
so once you have done this one then as usual like other experiments you have to check for node mcu the port number and uh, give the ssid and password and you dump the code into a node mcu hardware part okay now let's move to the blink part and see what exactly in the blink uh, app we have to do so already uh, i have created my template okay so i'm not going to do it one second because this part i already have explained in earlier experiments look you can have a look into that one but still i will give a brief idea of this one so once you log into your blink website okay you have to go to template plus uh, new template is there so create a new template over here i have already created so i will just click it over here you can see so once you create it will uh, give this information then to go for data streams so in data streams uh, i'm taking two uh, information from here so that is temperature and uh, the humidity so if i click the data streams you can see i have taken two parts temperature and humidity okay so you have to i have taken two virtual pin over v2 and v1 so how to take virtual pin all those things i've explained in earlier videos please have a look into that one so i have taken v2 v1 and then have uh describe the units okay degree centigrade and percentage okay let me do it for you i'm editing this one okay now if i go for data stream if i click this one okay you can see temperature temperature v2 pin i have taken time i have taken double celsius units i have taken if you click this one from here you will you will get the information okay if you click this one this coming if you come down slowly okay you will find uh, celsius and degree centigrade is there okay in this way if you check it out you will find okay celsius and degree centigrade so just a minute let me show you or better you type it out over here CLCIUS Celsius so in degrees integrate so just a minute let me check see resident temperature part okay so already have done so I'm not doing it once again uh, rather I'll just uh, cancel it okay but you people you do have do it minimum is 0 maximum is 50 and decimals and uh, this all you have to do and you click it safe for me I have all done so I'm not doing it Similarly, you will go for uh, humidity also. So, I am not doing it again. So, I am cancelling it because already it is done for my uh, my experiment. Okay. Now, after this, you go to web dashboard. So, over here also already I have taken this uh, uh, gauge, but I will show you how to do it. So, I am clicking edit over here to just to show you how I have taken this one. So, just like clicking double over here to get this switch in the earlier experiments. Here, I am going to do the same thing. I will just drag it down okay and you'll find gauge over here just double click this okay you'll get one gauge again double click you'll get the other gauge okay now once you got the gauge you click on the setting just like in the switch which i've done in the other experiment the settings over here and from all day after the data stream so from there you'll get this information and then you click save okay so your template will be ready right so i'm canceling this one in your case you'll save and apply but for me i'm just canceling because i already have done it and this information uh, what i have given 48 degree and 25 this already have read the uh, uh, code and have done it so this is the old, older value that is showing for you it will be fresh one okay so this is a template done then you know you have to go for search and you have to click new device and uh, then from template you would take it uh, which i have explained in earlier videos please have a look into that one so here already have integrated that one so this is dst11 okay you can see it's offline now so if i click this one this is the real picture you will see so once i connect my hardware to this one okay uh, to my system okay and it on wi-fi mode this offline becomes online and you can see the data every one minute the data will be published over here okay the present the hardware is not connected so i can't show you so at the end of this uh, video i will show you how how the data is published to this particular cloud okay now let us see the hardware part how what the, how the how the hardware look like and how i am connecting the dst11 sensor to my hardware let us see that okay so this is my hardware you can see this is a dst11 sensor which is also called as humidity and temperature sensor you can see plus out and minus so plus is my orange wire which is connected to my 3.3 volt or node mcu board okay out is yellow wire which will be connected to pin number 13 that is d7 okay in the code i have written pin number 13 which reflects d7 pin on my node mcu board and minus one will come to the ground okay so you can see these three wires and this is my node mcu board which i have connected you can see uh 3.3 volt out is gpio 13 which is d7 okay and the ground pin 
so what i will do is that now i'll connect this board this node mc board okay this one uh, what i will do is that i'll con connect to my laptop okay and i'll dump the code into this uh, development board once the code is dumped i'll connect it and uh, i will see the uh, option on the web dashboard of blink you will see it will show online okay and then we'll get the data on the cloud dashboard okay that is web dashboard right well and now you can see uh, i've dumped the code okay into my node mcu and uh, now open the serial monitor you can see i'm getting the humidity and temperature value over here so 63 percent humidity and 31.80 degrees centigrade temperature okay but sometimes what happened what is that uh, this is some garbage values also okay now let us see in the cloud what is the status so let me open my blink so you can see i have opened the blink so in the gauge also the same thing is coming okay let me open side by side and you'll have a clear look so if i'm disturbing the sensor the data is also getting disturbed and after every one second it's getting updated so let us wait for some time see again it is coming 60 32.3 same in the serial monitor so this is how you can see the data on the cloud dashboard okay that is web dashboard of blink right so certain fluctuations are also there now what you can do is that you can create a mobile uh, uh, app of the blink which i have already explained in my earlier videos okay you can have a look into that one you create an uh, blink mobile app okay in that you click the web uh, mobile dashboard and you can observe the same value in the mobile phone also so i will show a part of it okay in this video also so you can do the same thing so you can see there's a blink app okay in my cell phone and this is a DST11, okay, which is already online. The other one, Ask Experiment, which I give a name just like Ask Experiment, which is offline presently. The other one, DST11, is online, okay. Now, if I click this one, you can see the temperature is coming 32.3 degrees centigrade and 59% is the humidity, okay. So, it is again redu reducing 58, 59, okay, you can see. And uh, if I uh, Blow the sensor okay so if I'm disturbing the sensor the humidity is also disturbing getting disturbed okay so this is how you can observe in the mobile app also okay so uh, this all things already you have done in the last experiment okay you can see that one and you can understand how to create the dashboard in the mobile app okay so I hope you have understood the experiment okay thank you for watching my video